I've expanded my little shade space here. I just did it last night. Pretty excited. So if you all remember from my seedling update video, I had uh, some birds attack my seedlings and then that was just the beginning because I think it was the following week they just kept coming back more and more and they ended up pulling out a ton of my Copiapoa seedlings so then this is my solution with at least temporary solution with barbecue skewers just to keep them off of the plants and I threw these screens uh, on top of the skewers but what I wanted to show you is that it is now mid-October and it is Areocarpus flowering season. I've got quite a few plants, Areocarpus in flower. Just wanted to show you. And a lot of these I have pollinated already. Uh, let's see. Bad thing about the screen is that it gets in the way. And it's doing its job. Always a treat to see these guys in flower. Some of these other ones are preparing to flower, which is pretty cool. All right, we are heading off to Scottsdale to do another shopping video. See you over there. Hey, cactus friends. So we made our way all the way up here to Scottsdale, which is about 30 miles away from my house. We're just off Camelback Road, and you can kind of see the edge of the mountain there. This is Barrage Nurseries, which I was looking at their history before I came over here, and they were founded in the 1930s. And I think they've moved to at least a couple of locations since then, but they're still family owned. And I used to come up here every once in a while, although it's been a, quite some time since I've been here. And so I wanted to take you on a little shopping trip. We'll go look at the cactus and succulents. It's a very beautiful nursery. If you're in the Phoenix area, I highly recommend coming here. And they also tend to be more uh, landscape plant focused. So a lot of shrubs, a lot of trees, a lot of like these non-succulent plants. But they do have some cactus and succulents, both landscape type of plants and a little bit of collector stuff. But it's been so long since I've been here. So let's go take a look at what they have in stock. See lots of trees. And there's a lot of people here right now, a lot of staff to help out. Ooh, look, got some variegated elephant bush. I'm gonna do my best to try to see prices again, although it's always kind of hard. Okay, these one gallons are $16.99. Bigger ones are like that $125.99. Got some nice agave. Medio peak to Alba. Since it's $50.99. This is probably what is that? Ferdinand, I think. Right, I'm gonna do my best. We're not gonna be able to check every ID and every price, but more to give you a look at selection. This is black and blue. This is $45.99. So Barrage is not a chain. It's just one location up here in Scottsdale right now. Okay, now, as always with the landscape plants that are on the ground, it's really hard for me to bend down and read everything. So we'll just do a survey. This is shark skin, $60.99. Americana, very gaga. Is this Euphorbia? Euphorbia Tiru Tiru Kali, $45.99. I think it's only in the upper 80s today, which is definitely a difference but um 
Still a little bit warm, but not bad. So it's probably Perii truncata, some pretty big plants. It's a pretty big pot as well. This is $152. So this is the nursery where I purchased my very first astrophytum and it got me on the entire astrophytum addiction. And that astrophytum Myriostigma is still alive. Oh, this thing's huge. So we've got some elephant bush. This is the big leaf variety. We've got the classic green ones. Lots and lots of elephant bush. Let's see where we can go. Let's go over here. We have a lot of aloe in stock as well. From big to small. This small one is aloe marlothii. $25.99. It's $22.99, but I don't know what the ID is. Wow, they have some really big adenium desert rose. This giant thing is... is this a, it's labeled adenium arabicum. Grown by VNP Nurseries, but I can't tell its price. A really big. Wow, well, look at this. This is a, probably Myrtilla cactus geometrizans and it's crusted. This is $110.99. Beautiful desert rose. These are all labeled Arabicum. These are $40.99. This is like one of those fancy Martello crusts. So it's $110.99. Whoa. So Barrage is about five and a half miles from the Desert Botanical Garden. So sometimes when I'm at the garden and then afterwards I have this like a deep craving to go plant shopping, I'll just head over here because it's so close. That's probably Mangabe. So, oh, that one is a Mangave Silver Fox, $53.99. Some more Dium, some Agave. You see, they have a lot of roses. Lots and lots of roses. This is, roses are something I don't know at all. Except that we had some rose bushes in Oregon when I grew up. Oh, so beautiful, huh? So lush and green. So over here they have a lot of their cactus. Kind of larger cactus. I'm pretty excited to see what they've got in stock. It's like a lot of trichocereus. I did not walk through this before filming, so I don't... You're going to see everything as I see it. Okay, these are $52.99. This Argentine giant. Moroccan Mound. Euphorbia Resin... Resin... Nifera. $55.99. Got a bunch of uh, ferro cactus here. The one gallons are mostly listed as $26.99. Various sizes of plants in the one gallon. What's this? Oh, this is... Oh, it looks like it's some sort of hedgehog. Sorry, my shadow's in the way. Aquino Sirius. I can't read it. It's $60.99. Yeah. 
Oh, Echinocereus triglochid. Big pot is $150.99. Some multi headed Navy barrel caps, golden barrel, $77.99. Some Motillo cactus, $26.99. I guess maybe most of the gallons are, all the gallons are $26.99. All right, so that makes it a little easier. Pelosa Sirius. I think I bought my Pelosa Sirius here. Oh, they have some Astrophytum in stock. Astrophytum Ornatum, one gallon, $26.99. These are already of uh, flowering size, as you can see. Whole bunch of seed, uh, old flowers, spent flowers, and then seed pots like that. It's got seeds in them. When I bought my Astrophyta Mira stigma here, it also had seed pots on it, and that's how I got hooked on growing plants from seed. I have to credit this nursery for getting me hooked on growing cactus from seed. Oh look, we've got creeping devil as well. It's in a big pot. Oh. Can't read the price. So what is this? This is a sort of cactus. Some sort of mammalaria is what I'm guessing. So all the one gallons are $26.99. Long paper spine. So you see these pots again? Like when we were at Summer Winds, I was saying that these were most likely grown by a wholesale grower called Shady Way, and I bet this is also supplied by them. The white X's, which is supposed to mark the south side of the of the pot, so that you can align your sun direction appropriately. I bet these come from there. And then they, you know how they have. They write the plant ID in white like that. Oh, these are $52.99. These are probably two gallon pots, maybe three gallon. Got some probably golden barrel. It's a silver torch. Some sort of serious. A lot of uh, organ pipe cactus. Some more pear cactus. Quickly pear. Some big golden barrel. 165. Really big flower cactus. Whoa, look at this. This one is 240. It's a Peruvia, uh, serious Peruvian? Peruvian? Uh, I, I forgot. My mind went blank. You know, one of these. Let's check over here. Some more of these, probably five gallon plants. Oh, this is Ficus indica, $41.99. These grow into basically a tree. This is probably Sunita. Yep, Lophocereus Sunita, $17.99. Some more Lapuntia. I don't know how in the world they handle a punti and put them in the ground. Look at them. See, so, you know, sampling on prices if I can. Uh, 30, 30, $8.99, I believe. Well, I think they range. This one is a punti Kelly's Choice. This is $35.99. We've got some totem pole. This is $74.99. This is... Oh, Trichocereus Pacanoi. Uh, $70.99. Uh, 
probably Peruvian apple, maybe? Choco Sirius Spikianis. These are $60.99. Ooh. These are so beautiful. There's a crested guy with a flower bud, too. Oh, even though it's only in the upper 80s, like lower 90s, being under the sun is still a little rough. Mexican fence post. Probably a silver torch. Ooh, another crested Matillo cactus geometric lens. This one is $110.99. Another one here, Preston. Oh, they got some mammalaria. Let's take a look. That's probably Solaro. It says it's $52.99. Feral cactus. Mammalaria. $52.99. I can't get closer because there's this guy in the way. Gemnospina with some relative of that. Mammalaria apozolensis, $52.99. This is Kenalensis. Probably a little bit of sun stress there. Wow, it was really big. Ooh, it's so toasty. Oh, what's that? Is that Akatillo? Or some sort of aquarium? Perhaps? Walk through. Let's go walk through other parts of the nursery. Oh, it's so pretty. Probably some sort of Titanota. Yep, it is. I don't know the price. This thing is so big. Wow. Agave Murphia, it says. It feels really good under the shade. That's really pretty. Well, these are nice that they don't really have teeth around the edge of the leaf. His teeth are literally like razor blades. It's really pretty. I can't see if I can see an ID. I can't see an ID. This is octopus agave. I do have a lot of agave. This is agave okahu. Okahu, $50.99. This is probably Agave Potatorum, $60.99. Beautiful. This is probably Blue Girl. Agave Blue Emperor, $5 gallon, $50.99. Agave Bismetiana Variegata, $49.99. Okay, I think we've walked through all the out, like the landscape type of cactus and succulents, so let's go 
take a look at the rest of this place. Lots of shrubs. Lots of stuff I don't understand. Geraniums, it says over there. These cacti does not know geranium. Oh man, the sun is still so strong. I should know that by now. I've lived here for seven years. Oh, look how cute that is. So peppers. Oh, we've got some bonsai here as well. I remember I used to come here and admire these. These are all potted. Like this is elephant bush, and they've got it potted up like a bonsai. This is a hundred dollars. So pretty. So this says dwarf natal plum. See a lot of like eighty dollars, ninety dollars, a hundred dollars, that kind of range. So you could try to train your portulacaria to do something like this. There's a lot of YouTube videos that talk about that. I've never tried it myself. Oh, that's really pretty. This one's 140, so this is Chinese elm. Tiger bark fig, 140. Yes, there's the bonsai section. Got a lot of bushes and shrubs. They have a lot of pottery here as well. And they've bought pottery a long, long time ago from here. I still have all those pots, of course. So they've got a selection of Talavera. And glazed pots. Let's see, so this this big one is 113. Got these on the ground, which is tough for me. But they've got this. Uh, what are these called again? Something O bottom. Crashula? Oh yeah, Crashula. So like this glazed pot is. 13.75, maybe five inches or so. Look at that string of pearl. String of hearts. Oh, we've got a pack of podium in here. Pretty. Got some living stone. What are these called again? I can never remember. It starts with an A. This is baby toes. Got some lithops. These lithops are in the middle of changing their leaves. Like this Talavera, $95. I like how they stage some of these pots with plants in them. Oh, look at that aloe. Beautiful. Let's see what they've got here. Mangave, oh, purple people eater. Like we saw at um, Summer Winds and at Whitfield. String of pickles. Oh, it's so funny. So funny. String of pickles is. $20 for the hanging basket. Got succulents here. Let's see, this is $16 in the six inch pot. This is some sort of crassula, which I've murdered way too many of. Euphorbia trigona rubra, $16 for six inch pot. 
Is it uh, Kalankoe or Kalancho? Seven dollars for four inch. These pretty things are these. Just those cactus succulent six inch. Sixteen dollars. Is this Aonium? This is Aonium, right? Look at this. A little cabbage. Seven dollars and fifty cents for a four inch. Seven dollars and fifty cents. Got a little Adenium. Adenium obesum. It's twenty dollars in the four inch pot. These things that I don't know. Oh, hens and chicks. This is seven fifty. Got these little small pots of cactus. This is mammalaria, but I don't know what ID. These are all four dollars and fifty cents. That's not bad. Malaria, oh, tougher cactus, tougher cactus, maybe articulatus on this one. We've got the spines. So funny. Uh, Mammalaria, probably elongata. Maybe Mammalaria bocasana. I see some curved spines on there. More Mammalaria, that's really pretty. Little pots of softly succulents. These are all four dollars and fifty cents. Oh, sorry about my shadow. Got some pacopodium. This one is twenty-four dollars, six inches. It doesn't say what species though. The smaller one is seven dollars and fifty cents. I don't do really well with Pacapodium either. I've had two, I think, and only one of them is still alive. I don't get it. Some more succulents here. And these are mostly $7.50. Oh, there's some, uh, Gasteria. My Gasteria pretty much all died. They were outside this summer and they hated the heat. Oh, this one's got a little bit of variegation. Ooh, that's pretty. $7.50, just like everybody else. Oh, this makes me tempted. But they all died this year. Oh, that's cool. I've always wanted one of those, but with what happened this past summer. I don't think I should. It's pretty. That mound here. Ooh. These are all seven dollars and fifty cents. So, Cashula, Pink. This is Echeveria nodulosa. Of turtles. It's a very
a little golden barrel down here. Let's see what they've got here. They've got a bunch of pottery. Let's take a look. So big landscape sized pottery. And then I love how they sprinkle plants in with the pottery. Just like the way this is displayed. Let's do some price sampling. So this pot is $60. This one is $40. I loved going through their pottery because they carry some stuff that I can't find other at other places and it was before I discovered the you know artisan type pottery which now prices of these are actually not bad compared to some of the pots that I have purchased but you know how it is This is probably Flanagania, if I were to guess. More Euphorbia. Okay, this huge one is $375. It's huge. Display. Look at this guy. See, so this is eighty three dollars and seventy five cents. Oh, this is really pretty. Whatever this is, what is it? Echinopsis, maybe? Triple series? Euphorbia milii. Ponytail palm, I think. Some more succulents here. This is $7.50. Euphorbia milii floral pink. And some elephant food, variegated. A bunch of different Euphorbia milii. So much so much better. This one is $145. It's a whites and blues in this section. Symphorbia Trigona Green. This is $45. It's in a five gallon pot. Five dollars. It says Maria's design, so it looks like somebody staged this. Cactus and succulents. 
all mixed together. Yeah, you see like this type of pottery, I just don't see this anywhere else. It's nice to have somewhere to shop around for this. More whites and greens. And we've got some more little cactus here. Mammalaria. Puntia. area. Let's see, this one is seven dollars and fifty cents. It's not bad. Probably. Oh wait, it may not be Bocasana. There's, there's two mammal areas that look kind of similar. They're really furry like this, and then they have the hook spines. And I can't, I can never remember the difference between Bocasana and there's another one I think that starts with a G. They have different flowers. Cute. Over here. There's like a Eve's needle, I think. Oh, this is probably agave quadricolor. Let's take a look over here at the pottery and then we'll go into the greenhouse. These are huge. This is like a donkey's tail or donkey tail maybe. This pot that's sitting upside down is $36, $35. This is kind of nice. So it's Tuscan small cylinder, it's $17. Kind of like that. Kind of separated um, in terms of the pottery in uh, color schemes. Oh, this must be aloe striata. No, I forgot what this is. Oh, it is. Aloe striata, three gallon, $60. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. I have a striata and it's not very happy, but it's managed to stay alive for probably getting close to three years now. Like, this is cool. $20, it's not bad. It's really pretty. Like this. That catches my eye. I can't tell how much it costs. $18. That is not bad. More elephant food? Oh, lots of elephant food. I mean, pots. I like this neutral color. We've got some turquoise colors here. Glazed. Okay, let's go into the greenhouse. Oh my gosh, this is, this is huge. Alright, let's go into the greenhouse. I think my face is like dripping with sweat. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's some artwork. I always love looking at art. This is cute. Oh, I like this one. Or the opposite of the desert. So they have a number of house plants. So green and lush. 
Monstera Adansonii Swiss cheese vine. Oh my gosh, the Christmas stuff is up already. <laughs> I'm not ready for this Christmas. Oh, it feels so nice in here with the swamp cooler. I think I look like a disaster right now. Oh, it's just sweating. Oh, it says plants on this table are not for sale. <laughs> oh, orchids. this leaf is. It says Hawthorne's Green Queen. Eight inches. Forty-five dollars. Probably uh, moonshine. What oh, is six inch pot? Twenty five dollars. I've always been attracted to these, but then I never bought one for some reason. Probably because I'm doing a really bad job of taking care of my indoor plants. This is a the ZZ plant, but it's the the other form. It's, it's almost black, colored leaves. Silver color is gorgeous. This is Peperomia, twenty dollars for a six inch hanging pot. This is a fiddle leaf cake. Ficus Lerada, $130. And we're back to the entrance of the greenhouse. Alright, let's continue looking around outside. Oh. 
So they have this like a house structure with a whole bunch of decorations inside. It's just fun to look around too. It's really cute. It's a little bit dark, but it's okay. Fake cactus. I'm not sure I've seen fake cactus before. Fake flowers, yeah, but fake cactus? Fake eggs. Interesting. Oh, yeah, they should make one that says my human. That's what Cookie would approve of. Oh, these are. Are these puzzles? I think it is. Oh, well, that's cool. Kind of a cactus based puzzle or a puzzle with cactus in it. Cactus napkins. And they were melted! And a fall themed decoration. I can't believe it's already almost the holiday season. More pottery here. This is that kind of that gray, tan, brown. Uh, this is thirty-one dollars for twenty-seven centimeters. This is about twenty-one dollars for twenty-three centimeters. This is thirty dollars for twenty centimeters. I always like this type of shape. Fourteen dollars for sixteen centimeters. Thirteen dollars and twenty-five cents for sixteen centimeters for this shape. And they have lots and lots of terracotta pots. Get the standard. This is 11 centimeters. Is this the four inch pot? Four dollars and 25 cents. Got these little ones, which I know these are kind of difficult to come by. These you can find uh, at the big box stores, but these are a lot harder to find. The azalea pot, I think you can find maybe one size at the big box. So this is 21 centimeters, it's nine dollars. <laughs> We've got some shapes down there that you cannot find at the big box stores. So let's see, nine dollars for a 21 inch, sixteen dollars for 27 inches, eleven dollars 25 cents for 23 centimeters. And you can see they have a lot more selection of terracotta. So they have some house decorations too. These are huge pots. I think I bought one of their bowls before. I think. I don't remember. Did I? I don't remember. So you got bowls. See this planter is $50. It's called a window box. This this $45. Got these bowls. It's say $13 for a 26 centimeter bowl. I like this shape. $25 for 28 centimeters. See, this is 12 centimeters, $6.75. $30 for 
$35 for a 13 inch pot. And these squares are tough to find though. We did see them at, um, you know, the two other nurseries in the last review. $22 for a seven inch square. This is five inch square, $16 to give you an idea. These are all nice shapes. Lots of selection for clay pots. So Spanish pot, $18 for nine inches. It's an eight inch bowl. It's a low bowl. It's not very deep. $12 for eight inches. This is a 10 inch bowl. This one on the outside, $16. And we've got some hanging clay pots. This one is $25. Doesn't have dimensions on it. This is cute. Look at this shape. $5. Urn pot, it says. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot that they had so much selection on their terracotta. All these clay pots. So this is here. They've got seventy dollars for this. Sixteen or eighteen seventy-five for this. Something like this is $37.50. Oh, okay. yeah, $43.75 for one of these tall ones. It'd be fun to put elephant fish into like one of these tall ones and just let it drape. I've seen other people do that. Colored. These don't have drain holes in them though. These big ones. This is $200. Tuscan pear bottom pot. And they have another shaded area with decoration, with fertilizer, and things like that. Let's go take a look. Tomato cage. It. I went in and picked up these two Gasteria. This is the one that's variegated and then this is one I've always wanted and I'm debating maybe maybe I'll grow them on my kitchen windowsill or something. I'm gonna go pay for these and then they have some soil and soil amendments at the entrance of the nursery so I'll take you over there and I'll do a little price sampling as well. See you over there. All right so I just paid for my two Gasteria. So they have a little bit of uh, soils here. Let's see what they have. This is natural and organic black and gold. This is not the cactus soil. This is $12 for 16 quarts. Let's see the other side. Ah, they've got the Unigro cactus mix. I know this is really popular for a lot of cactus growers. This is one cubic foot and it's $22. And they sell this at Arizona Cactus Sales as well. 
very close pricing. It's $20 at Arizona Cactus Sale. So, you know, if you live closer to Barrage, this is worth it. So if you drive all the way to Chandler, I'm pretty sure that's more than $2 of, uh, of gas. All right, y'all, so I hope you enjoyed this shopping trip at Barrage Nurseries up in Scottsdale. And we're going to go and head back to Chandler now. Talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.